Balikan po natin ang pagdinig sa Senado. Kagnay sa isyong umanoy rice smuggling, nagsasalita po si Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte. At worst, more than that, rice smuggling erodes the people's trust and faith in government, particularly in its capacity to enforce the laws, an erosion that cuts deeply into the very foundation upon which government authority rests. Loss of trust and faith is an ailment which our government cannot afford, not at this time, not ever. Later on, I was able to talk to Commissioner Renares by telephone. I could sense exasperation and frustration in her voice. The following day, I met and conferred with the District Collector of the Bureau of Customs, Attorney Samson Pakasum, to get the specifics of this rice smuggling in Davao City. Subsequently, upon my call and invitation, I met with the officials of the Philippine Port Authority, Philippine Coast Guard, Bureau of Customs, Bureau of Internal Revenue, National Bureau of Investigations, CIDG, PNP, Philippine Navy, and other agencies in brainstorming conference to ferret out the who's, the why's, how's, and when's of rice smuggling in the city. On January 10, 2014, I met with the local rice traders at Marco Polo, Davao City, after which I was interviewed by media. It was in that interview that I showed the picture of Mr. David Tan, the central figure in this mess. The trouble with us in government is that we talk too much, act too slow, and do too little. Let me ask, don't we? I heard it was said that what this country needs given the prevailing conditions is not more laws, but more good men in public service. Let me ask again, do we subscribe to that? Thank you. And good morning. Uh, salamat po, Mr. Mayor Duterte. Wala na ba po kayong iaad na kwento how kung may nalalaman kayo dun sa rice smuggling sa Davao? Problem, Your Honor, is that I am with the local government and the Bureau of Customs and other national agencies are distant stars from us. And I do not want really to just inquire without any significant or substantial uh, authority because uh, usually it will sometimes be the opposite that we, kaming mga mayor, and nagbibigay ng protection, kaya hindi ako nakikalam talaga. But because of the request of uh, uh, Commissioner Inares, well, tatanong-tanong ako. And indeed, uh, uh, maraming smuggling sa Davao. Una niyan is uh, uh, outright smuggling. They come prepared with the complete papers yung sinas-recycle. Ipapalusot nila yan, ma'am. Tapos, uh, surreptitiously remove the rice out of the custom zones. Kung kaya nila yan, yun na yun. Hindi magamit yung permit. Pag nabunggo, poproduce ka agad yun nilang yung permit. But usually, kung nakalusot, gagamitin nila sa ibang shipment. Always meron silang yung permit. Other smuggling is outright. Talagang walang papeles. Other is uh, you undervalue. Uh, and actually, there's more in that container than what is reflected in the documents in customs or misdeclaration. Uh, yung karga with uh, lower tariffs, uh, for example, farm implements, which is 1%, when as, as a matter of fact, it is really rice nandoon. Uh, Yun lang ho, at tatanong-tanong ako, kasi wala naman ho akong authority talaga mag maghingi ng mga dokumento. Except that uh, I was not I was uh, facing a blank call. Uh, I, I, I must admit that uh, I'm quite ignorant about operations sa uh, customs. So I met with the intelligence community. Kasi ang lumalabas doon sa investigation is David Tan. So sabi ko doon sa intelligence community, produce to me a face of David Tan. Sabi ko sa kanila, trabaho ninyo yan. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm dealing with somebody na hindi ko kilala. I need a face. 
So, ang intelligence community ho, nagpudos ng binigay sa akin, ito yun. Which, Pwede uh, hung, uh, you furnish hmm? us the uh, a copy of the face? <laughs> Gladly. Uh, And siya ba ho yung nakikita nyo ngayon si Mr. Davidson Bangayan, yung face na yun? He's the one portrayed in the picture. Ah, okay. uh, not even similar. I think he's the one. <laughs> uh, I have no doubt about it. This, galing ito ng, you know, I am not a part of the military. Uh, And so yung we have observed that protocol, that kung anong maibigay na sa akin, uh, di ko alam kung sino talaga nagpodyos. But I, I'm sure that I met them in the room at sinabi ko that uh, I have to have something to start. Maski query lang dito, questions doon, kasi kinausap nga ako ni Kim Menares. Asa, dumating ito sa akin, ito yung... Marami pong salamat, uh, 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 Mayor Duterte, uh, it's the turn now of the senators to us by order of uh, arrival uh, tatawagin ko po si Senator Ponce Enrile tapos si Senator JV Ejercito and then Senator Grace po uh, pahintulot po na ninyo Madam Chair at saka ng aking kasama sa kan una Senator uh, uh, Ejercito uh, gusto ko sana magtanong sa ating uh, 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 butihing mayor, mayor ng Davao City isang kaibigan uh, welcome to this Senate hearing <coughs> Mr. Mayor Salamat <coughs> You're now the mayor, you're not the vice mayor of Davao City Mayor again sir Salamat uh, Welcome to, uh, to this Senate uh, Meron lang akong tatanungin po nabanggit yun na Pinulong ninyo yung mga, may nagkaroon ng meeting ang mga rice uh, traders uh, sa Davao City. At doon ay napasama yung isang ta, uh, trader na nag, ang pangalan na kilala ninyo ay David Tan. Di ba? Yun ang mga pangalan that keeps cropping up. I think uh, there's no doubt in this room that he is really the one. Kaya nga. Sino yung sinasabi niyo na David Tan na nakilala niyo doon sa meeting na yun? No, oh, sir. Yeah, I said, uh, in that meeting, I was furnished a copy. Right? Because right after that meeting with the rice traders, I met with the intelligence community. Because yung pangalan no, lumalabas, David Tan, David Tan, eh, sabi ko wala akong, I, I need a face. Nandito ba yung David Tan na yun? He's the one? Sino siya? Sino siya? Ito? Yes, that's the one. Si De Bagayan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ang sabi niya nung tinanong ko siya po eh, kan, eh uh, nagnenegosyo daw siya sa Davao City uh, palagay ko naman sa opisina ng uh, Pangulo ng Lunsod ng Davao ay eh, nalalaman ninyo yung mga uh, nagnegosyante na humihingi ng disensya sa inyong Lunsod uh, ito ba ay eh, merong negosyo sa Davao City A business permit, I could, business I, we, permit. We, we, we would know but the business permit none But uh, it is bruted about that he, uh, he goes there once a year, and therefore he is not in Davao Inyo. Uh, once a year to, to ask questions about the business of scrap metal and fertilizer. Iyon ang negosyo niya pumapasok sa Davao. In, in, of course, including the rice. Salamat po. Thank you, Senator Ponce. And really, we now recognize Senator J.V. Ejercito. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Kadamaga po sa inyo lahat. Uh, nandito na rin lang po si uh, Mayor Duterte. I'd like to uh, take this opportunity no? uh, to make use of his presence dahil uh, nagsimula namang pumutok ko ito, itong uh, rice smuggling uh, after the, yung sa January 14 yun, na statement. No? Um, sa inyo po pa nunungkulan, Mayor Duterte, um, sa tagal nyo po sa Dabao, um, Ilang, gaano katagal na ho kayang ginagamit ang Davao Port sa tingin ninyo sa, sa ganitong kalakaran ng rice smuggling? I think uh, it's my humble opinion na it has been going on ever since all ports, uh, si, the, uh, Manila, Cebu, Cagaya de Oro, Davao. Yun ho yung uh, hulugan ng mga smuggled uh, rice. So, And maybe other uh, particles, other things. 
So paano ho ninyo na lalaman, no? Alam ko hindi po natin hindi niyo po sakop 'yan dahil ito po ay dapat sa Bureau of Customs na smuggled rice, no? Ang uh, binabagsak. Paano yun yun ninyo po nalaman na na ganito po na, na nagkakaroon ng bagsakan? Eh nandoon po yung sa uh, Davao, ito uh, the, uh, ang, ang shipper uh, or the owner appearing ni document yung StarCraft. At nung dumating sa Davao, iba na. Uh, Joseph Ngo at uh, he offered to pay the customs duties, the tariffs and all, 50%. But uh, sabi kasi ng which is also uh, my stand is that there is no that since there was no permit uh, to, to, from coming from the NFA uh, talagang hinol. But unfortunately uh, nagkaroon ng injunction. So the judge ordered the release. And therefore, I can understand the situation of uh, uh, Sevilla here, Bureau of Customs. He ordered the release of the rice. A part of that shipment was released because I believe that uh, the customs just followed the court order uh, under pain of, uh, of course, of in contempt if you do not. But my stand. is that uh, yung protocol ng atin dito sa WTO, we filed on time uh, a notice that we are extending uh, the restriction until 2017 para magkua. And there was no objection, I think, from any member of the WTO, and that's why it stands. And to me, if there's no, there's no objection, uh, there is nothing to answer. Uh, everybody seems to Well, of course, agree. And uh, 2017, uh, the restrictions will still be there until that year. So, Madam Chair, uh, Mayor Duterte, sa ganitong uh, parang modus operandi, kung baga nagagamit ng mga big-time rice traders, gagaya ni Mr. David Tan, David Bangayan, ang, uh, ang makorte, no? Uh, kung baga, Nasa, sinasabi nyo kanina na parang wala hong magagawa ang Bureau of Customs kung hindi sumunod at i-release ang mga naturang spagal rice. Tama ho ba? Yes. And uh, ang sinabi ko lang naman doon sa meeting, sa rice traders and everybody, including the military, the police, the NBI, they were all there. And I said, I want the smuggling stop. And I do not want to see any smuggled ever rice again in my city. And so I allowed uh, the police to establish checkpoints because I don't in my city allow the establishment of checkpoints. But at this time, I asked the NBI to cooperate CIDG and to help government in stamping out smuggling, at least in my city. Bahala na ho yung iba. Doon lang ako nakialam sa Dabo. At uh, Mayor Duterte, um, Madam Chair, um, sa ngayon po, kalina po, ina-identify niyo po si Mr. Davidson Bangayan. na siya po si David Tan. They're one and the same. Yes, Again. because I was, uh, I, I would, I, I, I would uh, uh, take notice of that pleading that he filed. There was his libel case, which he admitted in an affidavit. He was the complainant. As a matter of fact, this guy, he might be Davidson Bangayan, has been using that alias ever since. And to top of it all, he's really committing a crime. Madam Chair, since, um, Mayor Duterte has already identified Mr. Bangayan as uh, David Tan. I probably we could already um, act on the motion made by our minority leader a while ago to cite and contempt. As uh, earlier, uh, Mr. Bangayan took his oath all, uh, before this committee. So I hope that we can uh, already resolve this uh, um, motion to uh, cite and contempt before the committee. So... It has been moved and uh, seconded. It has been moved by Senator Ponce Enrile and seconded by uh, Mr. J.V. Hersito. And if there's no objection, we cite uh, David Bangayan for contempt of the Senate. Are there objections from the senators? Your Honor. Yeah. Can we hear uh, Senator Angara? I'm sorry, I wasn't here earlier. But uh, can we just, uh, for those who are... Uh, arrived uh, after what happened. I just heard it on the radio on the way here. What is the precise reason we are citing him for contempt, uh, Madam Chair? Uh, Senator Ponce Enrile has papers to prove that Senate, uh, 
Mr. David Bangayan and Mr. Uh, David Tan are one and the same. But uh, Mr. David Tan said they're not same. one and the same. But uh, Senator Ponce and Rile uh, moved that we cite him for contempt because uh, uh, Senator Ponce and Rile is very convinced that uh, uh, he's one and the same. And uh, uh, we agreed. Uh, we suspended the session. We agreed that we will wait for the committee to, s to decide whether he we will cite him for contempt. And uh, so we thought that uh, uh, we will do it next meeting. But uh, with the testimony of Mayor Duterte, uh, uh, Senator J.V. Ejercito seconded that we should cite him for contempt. If there is no objection, then... Uh, the committee will rule that we are citing for contempt Mr. David Bangayan, uh, alias Mr. David Tan. I'm not objecting, Madam Chair. I'm just asking uh, the basis. And what would the punishment be if we cite him in contempt? Uh, because he's already here before the committee. We Madam. put him in detention. Uh, uh, we can inform, uh, we will give the the floor to Senator Ponce and Rilio. You know, uh, before uh, the others uh, arrive, I precisely gave the witness, Mr. Davidson Bangayan, a chance to explain uh, his identity, real identity, because he filed a complaint affidavit uh, before the city fiscal, I think, City Prosecutor of Manila. And uh, in paragraph 16 of that affid uh, complaint affidavit, he stated this, and I will read again, so that for the benefit of those who were late in coming, para paragraph 16 of his complaint, of the complaint affidavit, Uh, uh, filed under oath by complainant and affiant Davidson Bangayan. By the way, uh, Mr. Bangayan, hey, Mr. Bangayan, Mr. Bangayan, is this your signature? Will you show this signature to him? So that uh, there will be no question. Kita mo lang kung signature niya yan at para kan. Is that your signature? Yes, Your Honor. And okay. it's also indicate that I signed as Davidson Bangayan and not David Tan. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. It's, uh, the document speaks for itself. We admit that. So that's your signature, huh? Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, Senator Ponce and Rile, the, the committee is asking for uh, suspension for us to discuss this issue among ourselves. Madam Chair, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, here. Maybe I allowed to uh, just uh, wrap up my uh, questions. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, just a few questions, Samora, for Mr. Bangayan. Hindi po namin kayo personal, no? Kasi we do not want the proceedings, no? That uh, it will happen again, because this is the Senate. And uh, you took your oath, so hindi natin sana inyong maintindihan na kayo po ay uh, cited for contempt because we feel okay. that uh, you did not tell the truth, no? Kaya lang, I would also commend you for showing up, no? And then, marami ho kaming nakukuha sa inyo. And I hope that you would continue um, um, informing us about the, the whole operation because this will be very helpful, Madam Chair, in our, uh, in aid of legislation of this, uh, uh, in our fight against rice smuggling. So, going back, no, sa dati ko tinanong nung nakaraan linggo dahil naputulan tayo, na, kinulan tayo ng oras, sino ba ang mga ilang iyong mga kilalang may ganito rin uh, modus operandi. Yung ganitong big time, no? Yung rice uh, importation. Meron ka bang kilala? Kasi naawa naman ako sa'yo na ikaw lang ang bugbog dito eh. Kailangan sabihin mo na rin kung sino pang iba. Your Honor, uh, kung babalikan po natin ang history ng sistema po nito, kasi dahil po sa mga Restri sa, sa aking opinion po, gawa po doon sa mga restriction yung 
mga import permits po. So dito po nagmumula yung mga ganyang klasing mga operasyon eh. So it's common practice po yung permit binebenta po eh, no? Mm -hmm. So actually napakadami pong just like sa 2012. Ang participant mo participant po doon is more than 200 participants in total po sa bidding na yon. So in fact a fraction lang po yung sumali kami. So, pag kinotal nyo po yun, out of 380,000 metric tons, wala pa po kaming 7% doon. So, kaya nga po, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Bangayan, kaya nga yan po yung gusto nating malaman. Kasi ikaw ay isa ka lamang no, sa mga mula nung nabuksan itong pagpapasok ng uh, bigas, binuksan sa pribadong uh, mga traders, ay eh, ikaw lamang ang uh, napupuruhan dito. Sa Davao ba, ikaw lang po ang, uh, sa alam, pagkaka, yung pagkakaalam, ikaw lamang ang uh, nagpapasok doon. Meron din sa Cebu. In fact, wala na si David Tim. No? Na wala, uh, hindi na nagpakita ngayon. Meron din sa Cagendi Oro. Meron din sa Subic. So, maaari malaki maitutulong mo kung iyo pong isisiwalat ngayon kung sino pang iyong alam na uh, ganito rin ang uh, kalakaran. Siguro po patawag natin yung mga ibang mga participant din o mga na, mga sumali din po. Eh, tsaka ipagtanong po natin sa industry na napaka-common po ng practice naman na yan na yung, yung binibenta po yung mga import permits. Tsaka napakadami po kung bubusisihin po natin, napakadami pong programa kasi sa NFA para sa mga farmer sector. Nadyan po yung FAIR, nadyan po yung IFAD. So, eto po parang schemes po to eh no so sa bakat uh, para si sabi mo rin Mr. Bangayan na dahil sa scheme ito ng NFA no marami ang uh, nagbebenta na lamang nung authority halimbawa na bigyan ng uh, farmers group since hindi nila kayang ponduhan dahil nangangailangan ng malaking kapital ito iyo bang para sinasabi mo ba na sa dahil lang hindi nila kaya ang mga big time rice traders na gaya mo ay ginagamit na lang sila ang mga farmers group no para makuha yung kanilang import yung kanilang authority to import tama ba ano po yun yung mga allocations po normally kasi meron po kasi mga sitwasyon halimbawa sa isang programa ng NFA uh, meron po silang tinatawag na fair or what you call it uh, farmers uh, incentive rice program so in the end of the day dapat po itong ito pong programang ito ma-providean po ng murang bigas ang ating mga farmers during lean months. So, pag inaward po sa kanila itong mga alokasyon na to, but sometimes, hindi po available dun sa mga supposed to be regions nila. So, nailipat po to sa ibang mga lugar na region na may available pong bigas. So, normally po, well, option po naman ng mga farmers yun kung hindi na nila ma-reach out yung regions na yon. So, they will monetize it or they will sell it at a premium. So, Madam Chair, maging malinaw no, sa inyo pong pag-imbita rin sa mga farmers group na mukhang gano'n na po ang nangyayari. No? Um, Kinonfirm yun na rin na kapag hindi po nila yung mga import, yung mga authority na naibigay sa mga farmers ay binibili na lang ng mga big time rice traders. Tama ba? Eh, bago po po ako mapasok sa hanap buhay ng bigas, eh, yan na po yun eh. Doon na po ang kalakaran ng... Kay, kailan ka, no? Mr. Bangayan, kailan ka nagsimulang mag... Ano? Sabi mo mabago ka lang. No, kasi nagsimula itong importation, dati eh, ang NFA, ang sole agency allowed na mag-import ng, uh, ng bigas. Nagsimula ito nung nakarang administrasyon under the Arroyo Administration. So, nung parahon pa ni, ni, uh, ng Arroyo Administration, ikaw ba ay uh, nag, uh, nagpasok na ng mga bigas? Hindi po, Your Honor. So, 2010, after 2010 ka na lamang nagsimula? 2011 po. Sino ang uh, iyong, babalikan ko yung tinanong ni Senator Enrile kanina, sino ang iyong mga katulong sa mga ahensya? Kasi mahirap pasukin dito eh. Alam naman natin yan, ganyan ang kalakaran. Lalo na ang iyong kausap ay mga ahensya. Sino ang iyong mga kausap? Halimbawa sa NFA, sino ang nagpa-facilitate na ikaw ay makakuha ng mga permit to import? Wala naman pong kausap kasi uh, you just, uh, lagi naman po nilang ina-announce yun publicly in newspaper. Tsaka taon-taon na po yun, predicted na eh. Na lagi naman po mayroong mga programa. Hindi nga, pero may tumutu wala ba tumutulong sa'yo sa proseso ng papeles, ng mga papeles? 
Depende po sa programa. Depende po sa mga available na uh, program po. Kaya ano, may tatanong na, uh, Madam Chair, I'd um, just like to ask also um, probably the Commission, Bureau of Customs, Commissioner Sevilla or uh, Secretary Alcala can answer. Um, the, the authority to give uh, yung itong minimum, yung, ano, no, yung authority to import rice was started during the uh, Royal Administration because before, in the past, it was just uh, NFA was the sole agency to import, that was allowed to import rice. So, would it be easier, Commissioner Sevilla, to identify smuggled rice because pag hindi NFA ang nagpasok ng bigas po rito, automatic madali hong uh, ma-pinpoint, smuggled rice ka agad. Isa ba yan sa mga rason kung bakit hindi natin masupo ang uh, smuggling? Malaki ho ang idadali ng trabaho namin kung NFA lang po ang uh, pwedeng mag-import ng uh, bigas. So, um, Secretary Alcala or uh, our NFA Administrator, probably can you, uh, you could comment on this. Uh, is, it, uh, no, is it wise uh, to transfer probably the operations of NFA not under the Department of Agriculture? Kasi dapat ang DA in charge so sila ng rice production. Ang nangyayari po ngayon, ang NFA under the DA, kayo rin naman ang nagbibigay ng import permit. So, hindi natin maiwasan na baka magkaroon ng manipulasyon ng figures ng, uh, ng prices ng bigas sa, sa, sa dahilang iisang ahensya po kayo. You fall under the Department of Agriculture. So would it be wise, uh, Mr. Administrator, to uh, detach uh, NFA from uh, the Department of Agriculture? Uh, ito po kasi, ano, uh, Madam Chair, uh, Honorable uh, Senator, ito po kasi isang uh, policy issue na malaki, pero kung halimbawa po yun yung mas maganda, uh, kasalukuyan po kasi ang National Food Authority na nag undergo ng mga reforms. Napakadami po nating reforms na ginagawa ngayon. And in fact, uh, kung sakasakali po at magkakaroon ulit tayo ng mga darating na, ma na mga importation, at uh, iaalaw po ito ng uh, NFA Council, uh, may mga proposal na po na ito po ay gawin ng Interagency Committee. Hindi po NFA lang ang uh, magde-decide. So ito po ay magiging uh, isang com committee. And then it came, Madam Chair, no? it came also from sa Commissioner Sevilla that it would make their job uh, to, uh, to curb rice smuggling if NFA would be the sole importing agency. So kung bakit, alam naman po natin, alam ko meron po kayong findings na rin, no? um, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, taalala ko pa nga, no? sabi, uh, you were swimming in rice, sabi pa nga ng, Sekretary, kasi hindi na tayo kailangan mag-import later on. We will be self-sustaining. Kaya lang sa ganito, at the rate we are going, Madam Chair, if we, this, is, this is not acted upon, um, I'm, uh, my worry is uh, by come 2015, when after takes, takes in effect, eh baka naman hindi na talaga tayo makakumpit because it's becoming easier, more convenient for traders to import rice rather than uh, encourage, improve the... The rice means in in uh, improve the production. Uh, Secretary Alcala, are we are you are you doing something about this? Um, Nagbo worry lang ako kasi ngayon na meron pang import permits, rampat ng rice smuggling. Eh kapag nag nag enforce na ang uh, ASEAN Free Trade Agreement, all the more it will be hard for uh, it, it will be difficult for the agri industry to uh, to sustain itself. Yan pong pagpapatuloy sa Senado ng Pagdinig, kagunay sa isyu ng umunay rice smuggling. At sa putong ito ay uh, tinatanong ni Senator J.B. Ejes ito si uh, Agriculture Secretary Proseso Alcala kung ano nga ba ang ginagawang mga hakbang ng DA para tiyakin na hindi magiging talamak ang umunay rice smuggling sa ating bansa.